I want to live a fun Hawaii Maui oh, acai bowl life. What's up vlog? So I thought I would do a little like weekly vlog. My hair is so disgusting right now because I just came back from Pilates. Um, That's kind of why I look pale and gross and kind of red. I thought this week would be good to vlog because personally I love talking to myself and showing my life with the world. I really need to like get back into my health because um, I've been a bit stressed lately. I've had the worst like tension headache for the past two days. I went to yoga and meditation last night and then I woke up this morning and felt fine. But I've been like breaking out so bad. You can't see it right now because I have like concealer on but it's literally the worst I've ever broken out in my entire life. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just open up my new teeth whitening stuff, you know. Getting back into my physical health and mental health and um outer shell health. I would need to put some whitening strips on after my shower, but yeah, I'm gonna shower, exfoliate my body, wash my hair, you know, shave, whatever. Also, can you see me in the mirror? Was that impressive? Probably not. I'm also gonna start using Proactive again because my mom ranted to me about um, how shit my skin was basically and told me that I needed to start using more acne, any helping products. I don't really know what to call it. It literally looks like someone's gonna pop it in my closet right now. Also, this is my new room, if you haven't seen it. Actually, if you've watched my parody morning routines, you have seen it. Okay, here's a better view of how bad my skin is. Um, before and after pics. Okay, so it's me. Literally a week later, I have white name shifts on, whatever. Um, and all like the pimples have gone down and it's just kind of, right around where they used to be but used to be <laughs> just thought i'd update you oh my god i literally exfoliated and it kind of looks worse but <laughs> my makeup pads and toner match so i'm super excited about that i did my skincare i put my hair back so the oils wouldn't touch my skin and i'm in my sexy as um pajamas i know i look so cute <laughs> hi i just got back from school uh Super tired, was not in a working mood today. Uh, I have my white strips in right now. <laughs> the Proactive dried out my pimples, but they're still kind of red in this lighting, but they're way less bad than they were yesterday, so I guess that's good. And it's also dry and flaky around where my pimples were, so that's really not a great win, but it's still kind of a win. Anyways, I have to get ready. So I'm meeting my friend Charlotte, 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 Charlotte. So whenever I see her, I just literally look my worst. Like, it's just inevitable. I don't. I've been saying inevitable a lot lately and I don't know why. I just really like the way it sounds on my tongue. I'm gonna try to make myself look less dead and then I'm gonna get my favorite dinner, tofu fries and sushi. Do you? It literally looks like I have rabies because I couldn't get my whitening strip off. Like it was stuck to my teeth and then I got it off and now all this white shit's in my mouth. Like, ugh. <sighs> I just got home and I'm actually like, Pregnantly full. I had so many tofu fries, sushi, and my beans, and vegan ice cream. So I am just full AF, and I need to go do my proactive skincare routine so I can um fix this shit. And then I'm gonna get my pajamas on, and uh, I might go upstairs and watch Harry Potter, or I will get in my cozy little spider-infested bed because there was a black spider in my bed. Did I tell you that? I can't already remember, but I'm scared. And now I will have to double check it every single night of my life. Meet Doris. Um, he's my little lamb. I love him so much. Well, he's like a reindeer lamb. Like, he's just so cute. And I feel like he's my child. So, me and Doris, lit Friday night. Saturday morning, like 10 a.m. Just woke up for work. Have to leave at 11.30. But um, I would just like to show you how red Proactive makes your skin. Normally my skin is like plump and glowing and all the life has just been sucked out of it now so that really sucks. I'm gonna go upstairs and have some breakfast. Super creamy, delicious oats with peanut butter, banana, and frozen blueberries. I literally just can't be bothered packing myself lunch for work so I'm eating these cacao craze almonds because I'm super lazy and also a big ass water bottle um i really need to go get ready because i really want to go to this like crystal shop because <laughs> i really need to like get more in tune with myself and everything and shit i really want to learn more about it and i want to buy some books on like spiritual healing and stuff i feel like i look like a baby from this angle and my stomach hurts really bad and i feel dry and gross dry from the proactive gross i don't know my stomach just really hurts <laughs> i have to go to work now so 
I definitely won't vlog me out because people in my town are judgy. <laughs> Okay, so I just got home from work and the crystal shop, so I thought I'd do a little spiritual haul for you. I am super excited about this. The first like couple things I got were these two books, Material Girl, Mystical World. I love the word mystical. I read a few pages and I was like, fuck, like this looks like so good. It's about like coming out of the spiritual closet. Honestly amazing. A sophisticated upgrade on cosmic thinking. I'll let you know how that goes. So it has like astrological stuff in it, which is really cool, I think, and like planets and stuff. And then there's like the divine feminine, like literally so like that little ritual. I I'm so excited to read this book and become a better spiritually enlightened person because that is my goal. And then I always feel like a bit down on myself and I feel like I really need like spiritual healing. So I got these miracle miracles now cards by Gabrielle Bernstein. That reminds me of the Bernstein Bears. <laughs> there's a bunch of these gorgeous cards with a bunch of like positive affirmations on them like i choose to reinterpret my fears with a more loving perspective uh the me editing this now thinks that is so cheesy and i just want to make fun of myself sleep is a spiritual practice yes i can find peace in every breath it's just like a bunch of things that i think would be really good for me to have by my bedside table and like when i wake up in the morning or if i'm feeling down like i pick up one of these cards and i'm like get yourself in line, Sophie. We're trying to be spiritual here. And then I got some crystals, of course. I have a bunch. I really needed to get my seven chakras in balance. So I picked up a couple more I needed to perform like the chakra like cleansing, balancing ritual. Like you need a crystal for each one. Well, I got my emerald for my heart chakra. And then you also need like a tiger's eye. It's just like really good to have. Then I got a clear quartz because I actually don't have just like a clear one. I don't know. I have a lot of others, but I just never thought I needed one. But it's actually like one of the most cleansing crystals out there. And it's just good to help you balance all your chakras in your daily life. Then I got um, an angel aura and an aqua aura because Sophie Aqua had to. And then the angel one is just the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. And I literally picked it up and I was like, oh, I need this. Last, but definitely not least... I've been struggling to find love lately, you know, partner love, self-love, worldly love, peace. So I really just, I really just thought I needed a rose quartz. Um, I got this big one. The lighting right now is not doing it justice. It's actually such a gorgeous color pink. I'm actually really excited with it. Like I love holding it. And when I have like headaches or I'm feeling down or I'm feeling really depressed, like hold it against my heart, hold it against my head, you know, like. Oh my god, these kids are riding their scooters outside my window and literally all I want is a freaking scooter. Um, hi, I just showered, exfoliated, rubbed off my old tan, that's why I'm white. Oh my god. I'm so pale. And so red. Good morning, sunshines. I tried something new and put protein powder in my oatmeal this morning and it was really disgusting so i'm never doing that again also ran out of almond milk so i just showered off my tan half of it's pale and half of it's dark so i'm gonna have to wear like a little cardigan um to go out today but that's fine it's actually nice and straight i am super confused on how to save things into usbs but i think i just did it I'm not really sure, so I'm just gonna bring my laptop with me today. I have to get ready in front of this mirror every day because I don't have a dressing table yet, so I literally just put my stuff on the floor and sit here and get ready. But I wanna put a dressing table over there so like the light's coming in and it'll make my makeup look better when I'm getting ready and um, then I'll actually have a seat and I'm a cute mirror to get ready in, you know? I'll show you where my outfit's from. Thanks, Brooke, for helping me pick it out. This little, like, cardigan is from Blue Ginger in Hawaii. It's, like, this old lady shop, but, like, I love it. And then this top, it's, like, a tank top, and it, like, crisscrosses there. It fits, like, really nicely. It's from Brandy Melville. And then these pants are from Glassons, and then my jewelry is from Pandora. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am back, and I am super upset because... It's like 6.30 and I have to write my literature essay, 
which has to be 1500 words. I mean, it's like fine, like I can whip it up, but I just don't want to. And then I also have to write a geography essay. I have to write like three big paragraphs um, relating to global warming and how we can help. So I'm really just not looking forward to that. I really shouldn't have left it till last minute, but I leave everything till last minute. So it's like not that stressed, honestly. I'm just kind of like upset about it. Then I think I'm going to set up my son, Doris, an Instagram account. Maybe call it Doris the Dork. I have nothing really better to do with my time. Also, kind of sad, I didn't get my nails done today because they look atrocious. My eyes look really bright. Do you see that? <laughs> I just had a really long nap in the car, so I'm a bit like, I'm trying to stay strong. But I really don't want to write this. I'm not even a paragraph in. Like, I've done the intro, and I've done, like, half of the first paragraph. But, like, I just really hate it. Like, I just don't want to write this. I want to be on a tropical island with, like, my soulmate or something. And not sitting here by myself lonely and writing an essay like i want to live a fun hawaii maui oh acai bowl life with blue water i don't like the place i'm in right now well ladies and gentlemen i finished my essay and i ate some spaghetti chocolate and my favorite licorice tea so i'm feeling content and i'm gonna have a shower now and then i'm gonna write three paragraphs for my other essay time. It's Monday night. I just got back from Pilates and I look like a sweaty red mess. Um, I don't really have any updates on my life other than the fact that I started a new book really good called An Enchantment of Ravens. It's literally only six o'clock and I am ready to sleep. Well, not really because I feel disgusting and I need a shower and wash my hair, but I want to take a nap. Couldn't wait to bite it. That avocado toast, cooked mushrooms, and yeast flakes. Basic bitch, easy cooking, lazy. All right, well, that's it for this video and weekly vlog. So uh, like and subscribe if you also bring chocolate for lunch because you're lazy. Bye.